Al Jazeera takes the killing of Shirin Abu Akhle to The Hague. Good news for GCC visitors to Qatar as entry to the country becomes much easier. Meanwhile, footballing star Samuel Eto'o needs a World Cup supporter outside a stadium. And finally, history made by the first Arab team to get to the World Cup quarterfinals. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Al Jazeera Media Network has filed the case of the killing of journalist Shirin Abu Akhle to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. New evidence against Israel has been uncovered by the media network's legal team six months after Abu Akhle was brutally shot and killed while wearing a press vest. Al Jazeera said the killing was yet another attempt by Israel to silence its journalists over their coverage of Israel's assaults against Palestinians. Qatar's Ministry of Interior announced that both residents and citizens of the GCC will not require a Hayak card to enter Qatar anymore, even if they do not hold a match ticket. Visitors crossing the land border will be let through, but they must apply for a permit on the MOI website at least 12 hours prior to departure. This comes as World Cup hosts Qatar look to make it easier for thousands of fans to enter and enjoy the final weeks of the tournament. President of Cameroon's Football Federation and footballing great Samuel Eto'o has made headlines, but in the wrong way. The ex-Barcelona Inter and Chelsea forward was filmed kneeing a World Cup fan in the face moments after attending Brazil's 4-1 thumping of South Korea on Monday. Eto said that the man was an Algerian supporter who provoked him with insults, leading to him losing his cool. The footballing legend has since apologized for his actions. And finally, in our World Cup review, history was made in stunning fashion as the first ever Arab World Cup saw an Arab team enter the quarterfinals of the tournament for the very first time. 2010 world champions Spain were dumped out of the tournament after losing 3-0 on penalties to a stubborn Morocco side. Setting up a date with Morocco in the quarterfinals were Portugal, with a 6-1 thumping of Switzerland. Cristiano Ronaldo was dropped from the starting lineup, with his replacement Goncalo Ramos notching a hat-trick. The World Cup takes a break for the first time since November 20, with action set to resume from Friday. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.